Well, hi there, pluckers. I've saw things again with you with uh, part two of my lessons on Miles Away from Colin Bloodstone. Hopefully, you will have uh, worked your way through part part one. <laughs> A bit tricky, but hopefully, you've worked your way through that. Part two is somewhat easier because it uses a lot of the same chords and it's more strummy. Uh, not much arpeggiating going on in this one, okay? So I'll just run through the chorus for you and then we'll break it down and show you how I did it, okay? So, miles away, so many miles away, living my lonely life, So that point you'd go into the whole song again with the second verse, different words, and another chorus and another instrumental on the end to finish it. Okay, so let's break it down. So going into the chorus, we've got the A major seventh again, and this time we're doing more strumming than arpeggiating. Okay, so miles away. Okay, then we go into so it's A major seventh, which we've already gone through in the previous lesson. Is that like D D seven shape? but with everything up a string, okay? Then we go into the B chord, simple B chord, but with A in the bass, the A string open. Okay, so it's miles away, you're so many, G sharp minor seventh, miles away, to a C sharp minor seventh. Right, so a G minor, G minor, she, sorry, G sharp minor seventh, fourth fret bar, 6th fret on the 3rd string, then we go keeping the bar on the 4th fret we go to a C sharp minor 7th, minor shape, pinky off, ok, 2nd fret of the, uh, sorry, 5th um, fret of the 2nd string, 6th fret of the 4th string, ok, there you go, so so far, miles away, there's so many F sharp minor seventh, second fret bar, and then the fourth fret of the third finger, fourth fret of the fifth string. Miles away. my F sharp minor seventh. Nice touch now. A minor, straightforward A minor. To another E chord. D. So, so far, the yeah, A major seventh. Miles B with A in the bass. There's so many G sharp minor seventh. Miles away. C sharp minor seventh. Living. F sharp minor seventh. A minor. To the other another E. That's what we've got. Then we play this little two note riff. Fourth fret bottom E string. Fifth fret bottom E string. You can use one finger for that if you like. Then we do a B minor seventh. So a B minor chord, uh, bar chord, or is, uh, yeah, you really need to do a bar chord. Really, you could get away with a simple B minor, but B minor bar chord preferably. But seventh, take your pinky off, okay? So it's like so you play that fifth string, fourth string strum, the rest of the chord. So fifth string, fourth string. Strum four downwards or something like that. Okay? So now you've got um, without you is that weird chord again, that B uh, B seven B flat seventh sus two flat five. That's that first fret of the fifth string, 
first fret of the third string, first fret of the second string, open top E string, fifth string, and then third, second, and top E. Or a strum you do. First fifth string and then strum three down to one. Or you can pick it. Whichever you want, okay? So from the beginning of the chorus. So many miles away, living my lonely life to live another day without you. Back to A major seventh again. Miles away, the B with A in the bass again. You're so many G minor, G sharp minor seventh again. Miles away. From C sharp minor seventh again. Break. Now this is a different bit, and I. This is like single stabs on uh, individual chords, like F sharp minor. Okay, so me and I can find you. So it's a G uh, F sharp minor, single strum, and then a G sharp minor, single strum. So that's second fret bar chord minor shape and then fourth fret and minor G sharp minor okay so that's um second for the second part of the uh, chorus miles away there's so many miles away from me and I can find you okay and then A major seven A minor, miles up, E major. Got that? So the whole chorus from the from the beginning. Miles away slowly. There's so many miles away. Living my lonely life. To live another day. Without you, miles away, there are so many miles away from me, and I can find you all those miles away. Okay, now the only other thing I can show you, finish the song off, is the little instrumental at the end of each chorus. Because, uh, I can find you all those miles away. Okay, so what we're doing that instrumental bit, some three double stops. It's the 4th fret of the 3rd string and the 4th fret of the top E string together. I'm using the pick to play the 3rd string and I'm plucking the top E string with my finger. Double pluck, yeah? Then you go up one to the 5th, so 4th fret, same thing but on the 5th fret, and then the 7th fret. So, right? Then we go like a bar on the ninth fret of the third string and the second string, you hit the, th uh, the third string and then the second string, and then up to the twelfth fret on the second string. So now you've got got that. So it's ninth fret, a third, second, and then up to the twelfth fret on the second string. Then you hit that again on the 12th fret of the 2nd and do a sort of pitch bend up and down. Right, it goes up to the C. You go. So, right, so now you got. But 
down to the 10th fret on the 2nd after the bend up and down to the 10th fret on the 2nd then the uh, 9th fret of the 3rd to the 10th fret on the 4th slide that down to the 7th fret on the 4th so 9th fret on the 3rd 10th fret on the 4th to the 7th fret on the 4th so now you've got this okay and then the 6th uh, fret on the 4th 4th fret on the 4th 2nd fret on the 4th and then do the intro bit again I do that twice and then that's when the second verse comes in it starts the whole thing over again or if you want to finish it just do a couple of those finish on an E or an E chord bottom E string on its own or just to strum the chord yeah so that whole instrumental bit So there you have it, boys and girls. That is the whole rest of the song, the chorus and the instrumental bit. And uh, away you go. Good luck with that, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.